Hello, hello everyone. I am Bets Golden. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, this is not something that I normally do. Um, I have been Bible art journaling for a little bit now, not long, maybe a month or two. And I like to do it on my own. I will, I have shared on my Instagram and in my Facebook group, the Faith Impressions group with Carrie through Gel Press, my pages that I've done in my Bible art, but I don't particularly enjoy sharing my, how I Bible art, because to me it's like Bible study and worship. And when I'm showing how to do that, I can't do my Bible study portion. So I've, I've kind of, um, I haven't done it really. I haven't, I mean, I've done, I think I've done one on here with you guys. But anyway, with that being said, I've had some questions on the Bible that I use and how I do it. So I thought I would go through and, and do it. I actually have done this Bible art in another Bible, the verse. So I feel comfortable doing it here with you. It's going to be a different page, of course in this Bible and won't be the same thing, but since I've already kind of meditated on it, not like you can't go over and meditate, but you know what I mean? Um, I think it'll, I think I'll do, I think it'll be okay. Does that make any sense? I don't know. When it comes to the spiritual stuff, it's hard for me to share because I'm kind of a hot mess and God really works through me. So it can be hard for me to talk about my process, but Regardless, we're going to do it. And if you're not a Bible art journaler, that's cool too. This is something that can apply to you in your art journal, as well as any kind of books that you may use that have antique pages. You can do these same processes. The Bible that I'm using for this is the Illustrating Bible. You can get it through Day Springs down here. It is a costly Bible. Um, I'm not going to even try to argue with that. You can find it on Amazon for about between $74 and $80, but through Day Springs, it's $99, although I have seen it occasionally half off for sales around Black Friday. But what makes this Bible so unique is that the pages on it are a little bit thicker, so they can withstand a little bit more medium. And um, then the borders in it are wider, so you can art journal on. Now, for those of you that have an issue with, oh my gosh, I can't do that because, you know, in the Bible it says don't take to or add to these words and things like that. I understand. I was part of that group for a long time. But then um, after I prayed and I realized how beneficial it was for me to create art in my Bible, I just came to terms that this is not my study Bible. This is strictly for art. I have another Bible that I do my studying out of. This is basically just my Bible um, to worship from. And that is strictly what I use this for. This is just my form of worship. Uh, it's not because I'm trying to learn any profound findings or anything like that. It's just a way for me to communicate with God. So, as you can tell, I have some pages already done in the Bible, and I'm going to be working out of today, um, Ezekiel, and so what I do is I take this little guy right here, I slide it behind the page that I want a Bible art journal out of, and I take my pin, I'm going to work on my side. You guys know I like to work on my side. I take my pen first and I underline the verse. It's this pen. And then I'm just going to take some clear gesso. And this is why this is important because if you gesso your pages together, you might not be able to open them. So I'm going to take some clear gesso and just prime my surface. So what I do is I just, I'm using this stuff by Prima. It's Finibear. It works great. Other clear gessos work just as well. And then I'm going to take my spatula and just spread it out. I like to do this with a spatula. You can do it with a brush for some fun extra texture if you like. But um, this does give some texture in it as well. But I just, I think it spreads relatively quickly and um, efficiently. What I like about clear gesso is obviously it's clear so you can still see the words through it. However, oftentimes when I am doing my Bible art journal, you will not be able to see any of my words. There's some paint from a previous thing I've used a spatula on. And that's um, 
that's just how I do it. Like I said, I'm not doing this to try to read and study. So if it gets covered entirely by paint, I don't care. That's okay. So this is just a form of worship for me. And then once I get that all laid out, I will go ahead and just clean off my spatula and let this dry. What this does is it allows me to not have much bleed through on the other side. And I also don't have to use as much paint. It creates kind of a grit, so it really holds the paint down nicely. So I'm just gonna use my heat tool to set this up and then I will be back to show you the next stage. And as you dry it, it will fold up on the corners, but that's nothing really to concern yourself with because once you shut the Bible, once it's all dry, it will flatten out just fine. So I'm gonna be using three stamps from this Faith Impressions line. This, the two border stamps in the heart. The Bible verse that I'm doing is, I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit with you. I, remo I will remove your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. So I am going to be obviously focusing on um, the heart. So I'm gonna be using these border stamps and then also the heart petite. So these are the gel press plates from the Faith Impressions line. And you just have to use a regular old um, acrylic block for this, for this little one. I'm gonna go ahead and just put that over here on this small acrylic block. I don't ever really clean mine because I like those bits that are left um, on the on the plates because they can pick up, possibly pick up on your next gel press. So for me, I personally think it's kind of cool. So I like to leave them. Now for this particular page, I'm going to be using a multimedia mat. And what this is going to do is it's going to elongate my playtime with my paint. I live in the desert and right now it is just drying so quick. So I need to really try to elongate it as much as I can if I want to add texture. And I do. I want to add some texture with this bubble wrap. And again, as you can tell, there's some paint in on this bubble wrap, which possibly will get lifted onto the gel plate when I attack when I go ahead and put it down. And then I just have this old plastic bag that I'm going to create some texture with as well. So um, I have these brayers that I'm going to be using to roll this out. And the colors that I'm going to be working with today are turquoise, blushing, carnation, sterling, and black. So those are my colors that I'm going to be working with. And I'm going to go ahead, just remove my lids, because like I said, even though I am using a multimedia mat, I am a bit concerned still that it's going to dry really quickly. Normally, my ideal on this would be to use an open acrylic by Golden, but my order hasn't come through yet, and the colors that I have um, I don't want to use on this page. I really wanted to use these particular colors on this page. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lay down my um, medium first. Get that laid out and I'm gonna brayer that out real quick with my brayer. And now I'm gonna go ahead and just add in some color. So the first color that I think I wanna do is just some turquoise and I'm just gonna lay it out like so. I'm not too concerned if these colors mix a ton. And then I'll do just a tad of black. Actually, no, I'm not gonna do black. I'll do some silver in this as well. And I will do the carnation in it as well. Now where you are, you may not have to use as much paint as I'm using because again, I'm in the desert. So um, it really dries up really quick here. There we go. Just getting that all. All right. 
And then the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go over it with this real lightly. Then I'm gonna take my gel press plate, I mean my bubble wrap, and go ahead and just put that down on some spots too. And now I'm going to flip it and lay it out on the border like so. Just press it on through. And see how it still didn't quite get it all, but that's that's okay. I can go ahead and just, I wanna set this for sure. Definitely wanna set this up for sure. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna pop some more texture on this, like so. That's probably gonna dry, which is okay, because I'm going just to put my brayer on it again. But I do wanna get this kind of set up and, and lay it out again. And since your gel press is clear, it is super easy to line it up and it's a straight line on this one, so it's not like horribly bad if it doesn't line up perfect, you know what I mean? All right, so this is still wet. So I'm just gonna take this and just hit it again. Now I may be removing some of that texture that I have down, depending on how dry it is, but that's okay. And so now I'm going to Go ahead and lay it out again. Just line it up. There we go. Now it did slide a little because it's super juicy, but that's all right. And then I can go ahead and if I want, this is still wet. Look at that, I love how it just picks up some of that fun texture. So cool. And I just like to kind of clean it off in my Bible. All right, now I'm going to just take this and store it. I'm not even gonna clean it because I like it dirty. And I'm going to take this one and I'm going to create a corner on this so I want to take um, and put down my gel medium once again going to go ahead and just roll that out, that gel medium out. And I'm not going to be using the entire scallop on this. And I'm using the scallop edge. I'm just going to take this and again, just roll that out. And then my blushing. Again, Roll that out. And then I want to pop in some turquoise. Oh, I like that color combo. Just take this again. Some of this. And then from here, I'm going to flip it and I'm going to lay it about right there. And, and I'm not going to worry too much about this corner. I can fix that in just a minute. This one on top. Like so. so this one didn't do much coverage, so I'm just going to go ahead and 
I just really want that scallop in. So I'm just gonna put on a little bit more. Let me hit this with the heat gun. Okay, so I'm gonna take and add some more turquoise down here as well as some of this pink. And brayer that out. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. Then I can just put that in there. All right, so that looks great. That is exactly what I wanted. And I can just take, I like to kind of clean off my brayer sometimes in the Bible. Kind of gives a fun, funky feel to it, as well as popping down any of that. Okay, so I am going to heat set this and then we're gonna add our heart and then I'm gonna go in and add the details. So I always like to add the details, obviously last, but I'm gonna incorporate some washi tape in this and that is why I opted for this particular style that I have going on right here. So I'm not stopping the video for you right now because I really want you to see how long it takes to put a gel press or a Bible art journal page together. Normally what I would be doing at this point is I would be playing some Christian music um, and doing things like that. Um, so that's how I worship when I do my Bible art journal. And for those of you that know me, you may be surprised that I actually um, do Bible Art Journal. I know it's surprising, but I do. <laughs> uh, and it really helps me. Um, it just really helps me in life. I'm not the perfect Christian by any means, so I need all the help that I can get. And, you know, if God has made you creative, which if you're watching this video, he probably has, this is totally doable for you, and this would make sense on why you would want to do something like this, because he created you with a creative spirit, so embrace it and use it to help him speak to you and just give you an opportunity to worship. And I'm going to go ahead and remove some of that color with this right now. And that's probably going to disappear a little bit. You don't ever want to use your heat tool on your gel plate or gel petite. really loving how this is looking so far. I think this looks really awesome. And I'm not gonna add any texture on this one. I'm just gonna do it right here where the two meet.
looking good. I think I want to put that down one more time. And I understand if you're looking at this going, um, I don't get it, or that looks really sloppy. That's why you gotta wait until the details come in because once I add the details in, it looks not so sloppy. So those are super important. And I'm just gonna, there we go, that's perfect. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just take my brayer and just brayer this off a bit and do some um, hearts there. Add in a little bit of pink, I think. Just gonna do a couple hearts on the bottom. And it's super fun to do your images going off the page as well. Because it just adds um, some unity. And your eye likes it basically. I'm loving this. Okay, let me clean off this sprayer. There's only four. I like to work in fives. There we go. Now I feel better about life because I got one up there. Okay, so from here, I think we've cleaned that off fairly well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add some detail on this. How I'm gonna do that is I have um, some pins, some paint over pins by Jane Davenport, and then also this pin again I'm going to be using. And I'm just going to first, um, outline these right like so and they just really paint the right over the paint so pretty just love it then this one right here oh actually I want to use this one right like so take it down and oh that's dry enough just go around my heart in that coral. And this just adds some definition without being totally, you know, overwhelming, which is important. And I do want to have this pop a little bit more. So oftentimes I will go over my paint over with my pen and use this as an outline which works really well. Around my heart too. And it doesn't have to be perfect, you guys. Don't try to make your lines perfect because that's not authentic. And on these, I'll go ahead and add some coral on these just to make them all kind of blend in. Okay, sorry I'm getting lost and I know normally I talk more and I give you some more information and right now I'm lost in my process, right? I just really like how I can write over with the write over 
paint pins and then this black ballpoint pen is awesome. You can get it from Ranger if you actually go to Dina Wakeley's section of their shop. That's where I found it. I'll have it listed for you down below the Ranger website. Just hit in. You can hit an F-U-D-E and it'll pull it up. There's only one option in size wise, but it also is, I think it comes in blue as well as this black. I don't have the, the blue one. I only have the black one and I love it. Okay, so since this verse talked about um, basically turning a heart of um, stone into flesh, I was going to write like heart healer and then I'm like, no, I can use heart and then heal. But then it's like, no, you know what? I'm going to say just healed on this. I'm going to just claim it. Sometimes in life, you just have to claim the promise, even though it hasn't happened. And so if you have a hurting heart, then just claim that he's going to heal it. So I'm going to put some of this washi tape here. I really wanted to incorporate this washi tape. I thought that it matched beautifully. And so... I'm just going to incorporate it and if it doesn't want to hold, um, I can go ahead and use some matte medium on it and it'll hold it. But I think it's going to hold pretty well. It seems to be nice and sticky, but I really wanted to incorporate that. And then I'm also going to use some of this pretty blue one. I'm going to use this right down here. Like so. And just pull it on through. I really like the look of this. And then I'm going to do my healed right there. So I think I want to do my E just at the base here, D. So I kind of work forward and backwards. So let me do the L. And I'm going to go ahead and trace these letters with my um, black pen again so that they pop. But I really like the colors of them. And so I thought that they would be really nice on this art journal page. All right, so go ahead and just around the edges of these following the lines of the letters and see how it just makes it pop And I need to add the date that I did this. So I have this date pen right here. Um, 
I like to use an archival ink when I do this step just because I know that it'll hold and if I happen to get it wet, it won't ruin it. So today is the 11th of July. I know you guys are watching this in like September, but I have worked very hard to make sure that I have a video up every day. So I had to work in advance. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. And I'm just gonna put that off to the bottom down here. And I like to go in um, threes. I like to do threes and or fives. So I'm gonna do three right there. And this page is done. Now, when you Bible art journal, it's something that you may run into that I know I did was sometimes I like the pages and sometimes I don't. I happen to think this one is super cute. So I definitely like this page. Um, but the first page that I did, which was actually Genesis, and it's the first page that you see in my Bible, I did not like. So I'm going to flip through and just show you that one. But this one I think is pretty cute. But like this one, not so much. So I had to really learn how, you know, how to do this and just give myself time. And that's why dating it is so important because it helps you see how far you have come. Um, and so is this my best page I've ever done? Absolutely not. Um, you know, there's a couple factors here that played into this. I don't normally like to Bible art on screen for anyone except for me. So I was overcoming that as I was doing it, which hinders the art project. Okay. The art process, this one, you know, that's okay. I actually ended up doing this in another journal and it ended up super cute. This one, love it, you know? So you're gonna have pieces that you like. And then here's two other pages that I really like. Love this one. That one's cute too. Um, and then like something like this will happen where you'll go crazy with um, a spray and you'll just sew it all down and, and it'll still leak through the back. But you may look at this and think, oh my gosh, that's ruined. I look at it and go, ooh, that's another layer of color that I'm going to be able to play with and it excites me. So that doesn't bother me. That's why you need to have an, a journal or a Bible that you're playing in that you're not necessarily in love with because that can happen. Things can bleed over. I did this with... Um, I did this page, I gessoed it, and I mean, and you can tell because it didn't like bleed through down here, but I got it so wet that it overspilled. So I gessoed it, and this is color, color burst actually, so it's a powder pigment that I soaked, and then this right here is alcohol ink, and I actually did this one with you guys on a video, and so... You know, this happens and that's okay. And in fact, when I gesso this, it's going to re-wet it and it might make it move some more. I'm okay with that. But you may not be okay with that. So think about things like that before you start to do highly um, movable liquids in your Bible journal or in books that you may not want to carry over. To me, I love the spillage. I think that it just makes it even more fun and interesting. Um, that's just my thing. This one, I love this page, you know? So anyway, I hope that this gives you some encouragement and some ideas. One other thing about this Bible that I appreciate is it lays flat because I can do it like so and the spine is over here. So that's something else. Um, so to me, it was totally worth the money that was spent on it, though I did get it as a Christmas gift because I begged. Um, but yeah. All right. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'm usually not this long winded. Um, I'm usually, I try to keep it down under 20 minutes, usually between 10 and 15, but that's hard for me to do with something like this. So I have had requests for longer videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this for those of you that requested it. I hope I didn't lose you. If you didn't request it, questions or comments, you know, leave them down below. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel and, um, 
hit that notification bell and give it a like and a share. All right, you guys, until next time, I'm Vets Golden. Happy crafting.